This is Sean with Smith Family Vegetables and I received my grapple bucket today so I thought I'd take a video of it uh, before I unpackage it so you can see how it's made and that um, and it just got delivered through FedEx. They shipped it right to my door. And this is it and they uh, sent it in a real nice uh, packaging. I thought it'd be on a wooden skid but this is actually all angle iron so you can take it apart and cut it up and use it for other things. They even have a nice uh, little dolly wheels that they put on it so it rolls. Um, but I did a little research on them. This one here is around $1,100 shipped to your door. Um, I really like this one because of this, the, uh, what it's made. It looks like it's really strong steel. I like the pins they use with grease zerks. It's kind of like the same ones you get um, on your John Deere loaders. They got the uh, zerk tucked inside the pin there. But everything's got grease zerks on it. Um, I didn't measure the steel. I believe this is 3-8 steel. The whole thing's made out of that. Um, but once again, grease cirques on all the cylinders. The one thing I did call them on to see, a couple guys said they received them. It's all set up for the John Deere quick uh, hitch. It's got the two different setups there for the two different pins. And then it's got the hook on there. Um, but they talked about these connections. The, these are the half inch connections um, or three quarter. I think they're half inch connections or three quarter. But anyways, they're like what would hook onto the back of the uh, out the ports that I have on the back but when you get the John Deere kit for your loader these are actually 3 8 uh, I got them the Pioneer and they're just a little bit smaller ones where these are the, the regular size bigger ones so but the nice thing was these are 3 8 hoses and I'm looking at them you know, I'm gonna cut that open but anyways they put adapters on them this is the bigger fitting and then they put adapters on them so it would be nice I can just unscrew that adapter off of there and then these here will 3 8 will screw right on there so I don't even have to have the adapter so that's that was a bonus the other thing I liked about this one is that it has this here um, you can bolt this looks like on either side and you route your cables or your hydraulic hoses through this and it's kind of spring-loaded so it gets them up out of the way so they don't uh, get pinched in there so I really like that too and the price of the thing was really nice and it looks like a real nice unit for the money. Well, it wasn't as easy as what I thought. Uh, this is how it came hooked together. Um, and obviously these fittings are too big to fit on the front of the tractors, loader, hookups, um, what it needs to be is this size, so they're um, the next size smaller. So what I thought I would do, I guess I looked, I didn't realize until I unscrewed it, I was thinking this threaded part was part of the hose, and then all I have to do is take that off and then thread this fitting on there. Well, unfortunately, this thread that came on this hose was metric. This is a standard pipe thread fitting, so they won't thread on there unless you cross-threaded them. So I thought I'd go to the hose guy that makes my hydraulic hoses and he I thought he would have a metric to the standard thread fitting to go in there. Well, they don't. And what he could sell me was a fitting that he would screw this back in there so these would fit. And then there's a, an adapter about this big, female to female adapter. And then he had another adapter kind of looked like this in reverse that was, um, uh, that would, this size, I think this is half inch too, back down to the quarter inch, a standard fitting that then would fit this one, and then you'd end up sticking clear out to here. And so, anyways, bottom line is for the same for $10 more, he said just bring in these hoses, and he'll cut this off. He'll put put a standard end on there. it will actually have the, so this swivel will look like this, but it'll be standard threads, and then I can screw these, the correct fitting. Except they dropped it. Anyways, I can screw the correct fitting on there. So anyways, so I'm on my way back down. I'm going to take these hoses off and take them in there. I'm also going to blow the oil out that came with this. I'm not sure what kind of oil it is anyway. So I'm going to, while I have them off, I'll blow that oil out. So that way I'm not putting whatever type of oil this is down through my hydraulic system in my tractor. Well, I'm back. It took them two hours, but I was a uh, <laughs> slight dilemma with these hoses. I took them in there. They didn't actually have a fitting that would fit, and they would have had to put a an adapter because these are the these fittings now are regular standard fitting quarter inch fittings um, that will fit into this regular 3 8 connector uh, pioneer connector but anyways what they had to do that they would have had to take the other 
fitting that came on there and had like three different fittings that would neck down and stick out about this far uh, but in order to get it to work. So the guy says, hey, normally we don't do this. Bring these hoses in since they're new. I'll cut the end off and I'll just crimp a regular quarter inch thread pipe thread on there and then you can thread your fittings right directly to the hose. So I said, great. Well, when I went in there, that guy was that came back. He wasn't there. Another guy who was new was in, went and cut the end off of both these hoses. And the problem is these hose, hoses are uh, made in China. They're Chang Chang, Chang hoses. Anyways, and they uh, have an oddball inner inside, and they couldn't find anything to fit. Um, eventually, the guy did, after two hours, the guy knew he was doing, came back. He found this that would fit inside the hose, but he didn't have anything to crimp it. So he had to take this uh, smaller size and, and turn the inside of it out to get it to fit this hose and was able to neck him down, which went from cost me $20 to get a fittings on there. It cost me $45. But anyways, he got it working, uh, did a great job on it. And so now I can thread these fittings on and then uh, hook it to the loader. And I'll take a video of showing me picking some stuff up with it tomorrow. Thanks. Well, I was able to get the grapple on. Um, it seemed to fit okay. I've got one issue here. This is the um, indicator for the bucket, so you know when the bucket's flat, flat on the ground, but it's having an issue here. It rubs on these hoses, and when you tilt this all the way back, it actually comes back and it hits the top of this fitting. Um, so I thought about trying to reroute these out a little bit further, but I'm still going to have this issue here, and I think probably what I'm going to do whenever I have the grapple on, I'm just going to remove this bolt here. Uh, take this piece off and then put the bolt back on and I don't even have to mess with it. I did think about moving this thing here, although it works really good. thought about maybe moving it over to here, but, you know, maybe, maybe not. I'll see. But I am having one issue with the fit, though. On this side, it had a little trouble getting in there, but after it wore the paint off and scraped that down a little bit, it did fit in there. I mean, it's fitting tight up here. It fits tight there, but if you look, it's a little bit off. There's, uh, you know, eighth inch of gap back underneath here where there's, you know, it's actually rubbing the pin on the top there. Unfortunately, though, on the other side, it's not that way. <laughs> it actually won't even fit. It's hitting the pin and it won't fit in there. It's, I mean, it's real tight up here at the top, but at the bottom, you can see that it's definitely hitting the pin at the top. So I can really kind of grind that pin down a little bit. Um, take a little off of that and get it to seat in there. I'm going to first take it off. I'm going to try to clean any of the paint and stuff that's out on the top of there and file that a little smooth. And then hopefully I don't have to grind on that pin. But if I do, I'll have to take just a little bit off to get it to fit. But other than that, it operates well. Um, looks good down pressure on the grapple. And Well, I was able to get it on there without having to uh, file the pin down. Uh, what I did is I took a file, filed all the paint off the top edge of that. And it still wouldn't quite fit on there, so I bounced it around on the loader, and it just happened to be on there just right, enough clearance, it actually slid on there all the way and put the pin in there. Um, I went and once I tilted it all the way forward like a grapple, uh, this thing was sitting over here and it was putting too much pressure on the hose, and obviously it was rubbing on here. So this is pretty thick steel, so what I did is I went ahead and drilled and tapped the two holes over there and just moved this. Then I bent this back at a little bit of an angle and it seems to work pretty good at whatever angle I put it at. Um, I'll start it up and you can see it work. Well, I got everything working. My son's gonna demonstrate it. And the rear hydraulics. Everything works. Alright, we're going to go out back and pick up some logs. This is an ash uh, log which if I pick it up out in the yard, it was so heavy it lifted the rear tires up enough that I couldn't actually back up with it. All right, tilt it. <laughs> 